In recent months, I've realised that my gaming is generally following a pattern. I've been playing some incredibly long games, Cyberpunk 2077, Horizon Zero Dawn, Ghost of Tsushima and Spider-Man. They're all amazing games, but they're all open world games with a ton of content, side missions and DLC which adds to the experience. This makes them epic gaming journeys, especially if you tend to try and complete every story aspect and DLC expansion available. I tend to be that guy. The pattern I've noticed is that after a long game, I tend to opt for something I'm now calling a palate cleanser. These are games which act as a sort of gaming reset. I don't expect it's a widely used term because it came to me when trying to select my next game and realising I'm following a particular pattern in how I play games. So I'll run you through my thoughts and afterwards I'm really hoping to hear from you as to whether you follow a similar pattern. So join me as we investigate the palate cleanser. Short games. This can be any game which is less than 10 hours, but the shorter the better. There's a whole bunch of indie games which have focused, linear stories that you can race through in an evening. They're still great games, but just long enough to be satisfying. Sometimes I'll play through several games like this before I move back onto another long game. Relaxing games. These will generally be any game which doesn't involve combat or high skill requirements. So things like sandbox games can be great for this. I would look to play The Sims, SnowRunner, Planet Coaster or any other game where you can choose how long you wish to play. If you need a few hours or 10, these are the games that will fulfill this need. Puzzle games. Puzzle games are a brilliant option. They can be played for 5 minutes, 5 hours, 5 days. They require a good amount of brain power, but are instantly accessible and will scale up gradually in difficulty. And if you fail, who cares, just reset and go again. You don't even need a console for this. A smartphone will do as there's tons of puzzle games available on them. Easy games. Easy games are generally a ton of fun, but don't really offer any difficulty of note. Often these are narrative based games, can include some combat elements, but if you die in these games it'll largely come as a surprise. After you've played a difficult game, which has drained your will, resetting with an easy game is often what's required. So that's my concept of the gaming palette cleanser. Do you follow a similar pattern? Do you sometimes get fatigued when you play a ton of open world games in a row? And what games have you played that you could recommend as your own palette cleansers? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a like, share or subscription is very much appreciated. And I hope to see you again soon.